Hello everyone, my name is Ebolon and welcome to another episode of your channel. Actually, in today's video, we are going to dive into 2023 top 10 best indie game list. Before anything, please don't forget to subscribe and like and comment the videos. So we dive to the videos. Number 10 in Stars and Time. It's a role-playing video game developed by Insert Disc 5 and published by Armor Games Studios. The player controls a party of adventurers, one of which is stuck in the time loop. After a long journey, a group of adventurers finally arrive near the king's castle, a former house of change where many people practice the country's religion. The king has cast a powerful curse, which has started slowly freezing the entire country in time. The player first assumes control of Sifrin in a small town of Dormont on the day before the party enters the king's castle. The next day the group enters the castle and Sifrin is dead, by trap looping them back to the day before. Players control Sifrin as he attempts to lead the party through the castle to defeat the king. The player can make use of the ability to loop in time to solve varying problems like traps and fighting in location of hidden items. The game uses a turn-based combat system similar to that of Earthbound or Omri. The player can use different crafts, magic, to battle a multitude of sadness which are the game's main enemies. The party can also use special jackpot attacks to unleash big damage and heal the party after using enough attacks at the same time. The graphics are black and white and use a drown art style. Number 9. Sea of Stars Sea of Stars is a role-playing video game by Sabotage Studio. In the game, players take control of two heroes named Valeri and Zael, who uses the power of the sun and moon to fight against an alchemist. Sea of Stars features puzzle solving and turn-based combat, with the player able to control up to six characters. Sea of Stars is a retro-style role-playing video game respectively to fight against the creation of the evil alchemist. Gameplay includes elements of puzzle solving and turn-based combat. CSC of Stars is set in the same universe as the messenger, actually the sabotage studio last creation. Number 8. Viewfinder. Viewfinder is a puzzle video game developed by Sad Owl Studios and published by Thunderful Publishing. Viewfinder is based on mapping the images contained in photographs or other two-dimensional works onto the three-dimensional space of the game's world, creating new geometries and layouts. These are used to solve puzzle and access teleporter devices at the end of each level. The player may be required to power the teleporter using batteries or activation of the other power devices before using the teleport. The player later gains a Polaroid style camera and can use the images taken in the same manner as other photographs. Number 7. Pizza Tower Pizza Tower is a platform game created by indie developer Tour de Pizza. It follows a pizza chef Pepino Spaghetti, who must scale a tower to prevent the destruction of his pizzeria. Across 20 side-scrolling levels, the player increases their score by gathering collectibles and defeating enemies to build combos. At the end of each level, they activate an escape sequence and must return to the beginning with a time limit. Pizza Tower does not feature health or lives, and its difficulty depends on what the player chooses to achieve. Number 6. Vemba. Vemba is a narrative cooking video game by Visay Studio. The story begins in 1988 and follows the immigrant couple settling down in Canada and adjusting their day-to-day -day lives in the new environment. The player controls the titular character Vemba, an Indian woman who moves with her husband to Toronto, where they eventually have a son. The game draws heavily from Tamil culture and South Indian cuisine. The core gameplay involves Vemba's journey of restoring lost recipe through trial and error. In each chapter, Vemba and her son, Kevin, explore the familial relationships through food, which plays out in puzzles. Vemba's mother's 
cookbook has been damaged over time, leading to smudged instructions that make the recipes difficult to follow. The player consults the cookbook to recreate the recipes as Vemba contemplates her own memories to help piece together any missing instructions. They will encounter these obstacles throughout the game when making different dishes and must investigate surrounding instructions and diagrams to fill in the gap. Number 5 Exolotl or AK Exolotl is the ultimate top down roguelite shooter starring the most adorable Ephibian developed by Two Awesome Studios. The Two Awesome is the name of the studio actually and published by Playstack. By Playstack. You're an Exolotl armed with an AK that embarks on an epic rampage, shooting down anything that stands in, our, in your way. Slaughter your way through the variety of biomes and conquer randomly generated rooms, all while collecting delicious food and capturing precious baby exolotls. Channel the incredible power of ex exolotls regeneration. If you are knocked down, you will rise again from the ashes and start stronger. Unlucky new weapons with each fight, fight, die, come back stronger and fight again. Number 4 Dredge Dredge is a fishing video game developed by Black Salt Games and published by Team 17. The game follows a fisherman who encounters increasingly lovecrafting creatures as he ventures out further into an open world archipelago. Dredge sees the player control a small motorized fishing boat. The game takes place on a day-night cycle where specific actions the player takes such as sailing or fishing push the clock forward. The player can look for fish to catch or underwater items to salvage at certain spots where they play a short mini game to bring their catch on board. If the player stays out into the night, a panic meter starts to rise, with higher level leading to hallucinations that change the reality around the boat, creating hazards that may damage the player's vessel. However, some fish only become available during the night hours, forcing the player to stay out during this time. The water around Archipelago also contain a number of sea monsters which can attack the player. Number 3. Thirsty Sweeters is an adventure video game developed by Outer Loop Games and published by Anapora Interactive. Thirsty Sweeters is an adventure game about a young woman, Yala, who returns to her hometown for her sister's wedding and must navigate her relationships with her family and former paramours. The player can engage in various game modes, including skateboarding, cooking minigames, and character conversations, which function like turn-based battles. Number 2. A space for the Unbound a Space for an Unbound is an Indonesian adventure ga video game developed by Mojiken Studio and published by Torch Production. The game is set in the late 1990s and follows Atma and his girlfriend Raya who live in suburban area in Indonesia as they explore their newly attained magical abilities and deal with supernatural powers threaten their existence. The game designer's focus was capturing that it felt like to grow up in Indonesia in 1990s and preserving his memories as an Indonesian through the game. The game received positive reception from Critus with reviews focusing on the game's solid sense of place and a heartful story player controls Atman, an Indonesian high school student who is getting close to graduation with his girlfriend Raya. Throughout the powers of the Red Book that Atma finds, he gains the ability to space dive into people's mind and help fix their problem through puzzles that the player completes. These changes can affect a person's point of view and help them deal with their trauma. His girlfriend Raya through the same book gains X-Men school powers including levitations and change the nature of the reality. They face that issues that come from their new powers and investigate the supernatural forces that threaten their existence. Number 1. Cocoon 
Cocoon is a puzzle adventure game developed by Geometric Interactive and published by Annapurna Interactive. A player controls a beetle that can hop between worlds, solving puzzles to unravel the universe mysteries. Cocoon is a third-person puzzle video game. The player controls a small, incident creature navigating the multiple desolated worlds. The player wakes up in a barren wasteland soon after discovering a mysterious orb. Each orb contains one of the game's vault, allowing the player to hop between them, while also doubling as a unique ability in itself. The orb can also be used to power the various machinery found in the desolated vaults, such as lifts and platforms. As the player reaches the end of the each vault, they are confronted by a boss fight, and they must complete by using mechanic to impede the creature. So as you see, we had uh, 2023 top 10 video indie video games, and actually we had a series of stories and pixel of codes. We talk about the story of creation of the games. Actually, in that series, we covered the three game that list: Sea of Stars, Vemba, and Cocoon. From this top 10, is covered in the epi separate episode. So my name is Ebolon. I really appreciate if see your see your comments below. So. I really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button and like the video if you enjoyed that. So until the next episode, Ebaldon here, good